<laughs> All right, let's jump back into, uh, I guess we can call this NFL. Uh, maybe this is more pop culture at this point. But I will discuss with you Jay Cutler again. We talked about him last week. He was absolutely fantastic on his Instagram. He was out looking for a chicken serial killer. And today, got him. breaking news, he caught the bastard. Got him. And it was a raccoon that was ripping the heads off of his chickens and just leaving them in the chicken yard. Now, yeah. Now that is, Ooh. so I didn't know, I didn't know the, it wouldn't have been a snake or an owl or a hawk if I'd have known they were just killing them and leaving them. It probably wouldn't have been a coyote or a wolf either. Everything else eats it. Yeah. Rac- raccoons are just mean. And yeah, it just wanted to kill it. And vicious. Vicious. TMZ put this out. It said, uh, Cutler had been dealing with an unknown menace that was ripping the heads off his beloved birds, and he devoted his retirement life to saving his chickens. The week-long saga took many twists and turns, including traps and overnight stakeouts, with pretty much the entire nation on the edge of its seat to figure out who the hell was offing the chickens. But Jay can finally get some sleep because he has officially discovered the culprit, a damn trash panda. Oh, he can't <laughs> sleep until he gets it gone, until he kills it. No, 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 here's, here's the thing. He said, all is well, happy to report it was a raccoon, Cutler said on Instagram Wednesday morning. He said, it fits the evidence. Chicken heads were ripped off and bodies were left in the chicken yard. Uh, gruesome stuff, but the reality of the situation, the ladies are now safe and sound. We can all sleep well for a few nights. He said, so is this the end of an era, and can we all go back to worrying about bigger issues? Yes, at least for now. He said, unfortunately, I'm sure this raccoon has some family members. While the saga is sadly ending, I'm sure there will be more. Stay tuned. So I, I, um, I enjoy TMZ. This is good little, stuff. little dealings with with raccoons. Uh, it was probably this past fall. My dog Maui. You've probably seen him jump on me and attack me. I was wondering if he was laying around here ever at all. Um, has a tendency of getting out of my fence, and by getting out of my fence, I mean we don't leave the fence open. And he's not really a digger. Um, he will bite the bottom of the plank of the fence board and you've got the bottom beam that's about hmm, eight inches, 10 inches off the ground. And he's strong enough to where he can just snap the bottom part off and he'll snap about three or four off in a row and be able to get under it. And he does that when there's something behind our fence in our backyard that he wants to destroy. And uh, one night he got out, I'm chasing him down, trying to find him. And I actually realized, oh, he's at the front door. And his entire (laughs) chest is just covered in scratches. And his eyes are just gouged bad. He ended up being okay. It was all surface level. Uh, That is the attack of the raccoon. Yes. And he is a big old pit. Now, that raccoon did not survive that attack. but, uh, but, But there are many more back there. My... Very country um, brother that is a hunter outdoorsman could live in the wilderness and survive for years says, I have some raccoon traps if you want them because you know, there's more out there. I'm like, okay, what do I do when I catch them? Because you don't want to just release them. No, you shoot them. You shoot them but I don't have a gun that I can shoot it with. Like I, I live in a city. I can't just pop it. Okay. And his response to me now, you will veer, you'll realize a little bit about my childhood of who I grew up with and live with. He is much tougher than I am. His response was, is you have a hammer, don't you? <laughs> this thing wrecked the chest of my dog. How in the hell am I even going to hit it with a hammer if I was manly enough to kill it with my bare hands and a hammer? <laughs> That's, I don't know. I don't know. So I never went and got the got the traps because I was terrified of how am I going to kill this thing? I have a firearm, but I can't shoot it with a shotgun because I have neighbors. I live in a subdivision. Ben said, uh, ben said first smart dog, and then he said, you bring them to the river. And then Matt said, no country for old men style. That's a I don't great know movie, that, by the way. Sadly, I have not seen that movie. Oh, you have to do seen. that. You've I know that's insane. Yeah. Um, I did think about going and getting an air rifle because that I could shoot because it's virtually silent. And uh, so I didn't. I didn't. I just didn't kill him. And 
He, yeah, just just go get you a pellet rifle and and use that to handle all the a uh, pellet the birds. gun is not going to kill a raccoon. Uh, you got to get one of the the big ones, like not well, just not the little rifle. toy guns. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Well, I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get an air rifle. I'll shoot a yeah. twenty two and it'll kill it. Joseph said Fairhead. Matt is banging on bacon. Uh, hashtag Cat Williams. He said it's still delicious. No imported bacon, and we're all good. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Damien said, like I said before, and I'll say it again. You mean to tell me Cutler can get his head in the game to chase a damn chicken killer? but couldn't find a way to get a damn Super Bowl. Screw you, Jay Cutler. That's, man, we got somebody that is hurt about Jay Cutler and the Bears. Man. He's uh, the best quarterback they've had in my entire lifetime. Yeah. And he didn't Hard get to, to the Super Bowl. Me. There's a lot of teams that didn't get to the Super Bowl. I find him very likable. I don't know why I, I find guys uh, that most people detest likable. I always liked him. Oh, yeah. No, I, I, I like him more in retirement than I did when he was well, playing. Now this, I wish we could see more of this. Yes. Than- but now that he's got an Instagram, I think we'll probably see more. Uh, Damien said, Jay Cutler is the next Inspector Gadget. And let's see. Ben said, why does Jay Cutler look like he's never slept in his life? He That's- definitely looks like a dude that lives off of nothing but cigarettes, cigarettes. and coffee. <laughs> yes, he sure does. I mean, uh, we all have that uncle that we think, like, sleeps one every three days. Yep. Watches way too much TV and that's Cutler. about the world. That's, that's Jay Cutler. Uh, ben said, bring the raccoon to someone you don't like to house. So if you ever no, find I'm out. I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not hey, that kind of guy. I can't do that. All I'm saying is if your financial advisor ends up actually stealing from you. Well, now that's a different situation. Yeah, I know where that son of a bitch lives. Yeah, that. now we're having a different, different talk. <laughs> Uh, Joseph said, Matt wants Chris to go 300 movie on a little raccoon. And, uh, and then Matt said, it's the diabetes. So I'm not, <laughs> I am not that guy. I am no. not that guy, man. Uh, yeah. Oh, Matt, Matt. Yeah. I, I didn't read this one. Matt, uh, told you to use a spear. Yeah. So I don't own a spear, Matt. I don't know if you know that or not, but <laughs> I'm not. I'm sure you can find something out in them woods behind your house. I'm sure you can find some my, kind of my shark. My issue is, is this is not my forte. I'm just <laughs> not that kind of person that I could. Here's the thing. These animals are vicious. Like, he talked oh, yes. about how it just, they kill to just kill. Like, if they catch your cat in the neighborhood, like, they're going to murder your cat, not to eat it, not to feed their family, but just to do it. Yeah, just, just because. to be a son of a bitch, man. Yeah, the raccoons are, are awful, awful things. Awful. They <laughs> Damien, look cute. Damien said, their, go Rambo, like, damn it. That's like their defense mechanism is they look cute. <laughs> yes, that's 100%. They're really it. horrible, horrible little things, little monsters. Yes, they certainly are. We talked about how vicious owls are. Yeah, these are these are there. Yeah. So, here's what it is. Let's